I've definitely worked hard my whole life, just seeing just from the work ethic that my parents have had in their lives. Being Hispanic is, is a great asset. I'm, I'm extremely proud of my heritage. My dad and mom, I think, came with a big dream of giving my brothers and I the education that they couldn't have. Every day when I would go to school, I would think, you know, my father stopped going to his school so that I could go to my school. And that's something that I've kept in the back of my mind and in my heart every day. Uh, why am I crying? My name is Alona Catalina Juan. My name is Fabian Poliak. My name is Heidi Cruz. I'm Keone Han. I'm Daniel Laje. My name is Christopher Rosa. My name is Natasia Rodriguez. My name is Nick Altimos. My name is Dora Arredondo Marron, and I received the National Teacher Award. The reason why I got into film and journalism and that outlet was basically because I thought it was amazing how it's just it's such a way to reach people. Getting the word out there untainted, something that I'd love to do. Not so good with the touchy-feely English and literary analysis types of thinking. I want to go into molecular biology research, so math and science are definitely my favorite subjects. Well, I've always sort of been a fan of math. I like um, puzzling over problems. I like banging my head against the table for hours on end sometimes if I can't solve a problem. I've done community service because I love the idea of um, just helping other people and I know it's not glamorous or anything, but as long as I'm happy with it, it doesn't matter to me whether I make a lot of money or not. Sports definitely does teach people to, to trust other people and to cooperate with them. That's something that our world doesn't have a lot of today. It's mostly, you know, me, 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 you know, what can I get, what can I get for myself? Career-wise, I'd like to go into international relations. I hope my studies are going to put me in direct contact with those that can help so that I can bring them to those that need the help. Healthcare is just something I've always had a passion for. They come to you in the most vulnerable state with their, their health at stake. And uh, to be able to help them is something so special and unique. And that's why healthcare medicine, that's my calling. I want to be a dedicated and passionate teacher. I want to have that same influence on other people, like the amazing teachers that I've had. It's encouraging to know that these students are going into our community. It's refreshing and um, it's inspiring. I think entertainment has become so incredibly influential in our youth. And when you find people that actually want to change the world with other outlets, you know, in other approaches, you know, it's, it's refreshing. They are so humble and so down to earth and so focused on their dreams and that's, that's what we need. I think everyone changes the world whether they like to or not and the degree to which you change the world and whether you change it for the best or for the worst just depends on your involvement and in your achievement. It will take more than one person, it's, it's, it's a team effort. I think that one person can start the change and it's like a wave. I think what's important is that if one person really believes in their convictions, then a lot of other people will follow them, but it starts with one person. I'm gonna save the world. True leaders will do that. I mean, look at Martin Luther King, look at Cesar Chavez, look at all the people that have given to our world. Um, a different lens to look at justice, a different lens to look at how how do we make it a better place. Can one person change the world? I don't know, but we could find out. It never hurts to try.